You ready? Stand up. Stand up. Okay. Stay in that position. Okay, so in survival camp, okay, we I, a long time ago I used to carry a poncho with me. Okay, and it's called put back. Something like this, right? So in here is my poncho. And when you walking for like 50 miles with a 55 pound backpack for a whole week, when it rains, you don't want to get wet. Okay, because when you're wet, your shoe get wet, your foot get wet, you get, you know, gain green, which is a very dangerous virus, right? Then you're gonna get sick and, and it's dangerous. So when you do backpacking, your goal is to keep your foot dry, right? So as you're walking with backpack heavy and enjoying nature, right? And then you see the cloud coming, you can smell the dirt, right? You can smell the dirt, it means rain's about coming at your way, right? So when you smell the dirt and you feel the wind and, the, and, you, and you smell the rain coming, you better make shelter, okay? Sometimes my major backpack is, you know, my tent is in the back of my backpack, right? And it takes a long time to get out. Sometimes storms come really fast. You got like two minutes, right? To set the storm. So usually we have what we call a poncho. It do very well, right? So this is a normal poncho, right? It's just a normal poncho, right? But when the rain comes really hard, you want to get wet and you want to rest too because it's been a tired day. So what I do is I take out this poncho, right? And there's a core right here. Most poncho have a core, okay? Yeah. Or just high knot. And then you make the tent. Huh? Then you're going to take, you leave it on the ground like this. Very, very simple. Right? I got some poncho. You can do five feet of core with some poncho. And this is, you know, you can make a personal so tent out of it. So any poncho or a tarp, a tent tarp will work. Too. I've done it with a tent tarp before. But those tarps are very expensive. You really don't want to, you know, mess with it. Right? You can do 550 core, but bungee core is a lot easier. Right? And sometimes I take this and I tie it to the grass. When the grass is long, I don't have a lot of time, I tie it to the grass. You can do 554 or bungee cord. It doesn't really matter. done this in uh, 15 years. No, that was really smart. <laughs> Okay. And when you hike, you always try to have a, a, a hiking stick, right? When you do a long hike, the hiking stick reserve like 20% of the load will be in your arm instead of your leg. So you're resting your leg by 20%. So, put this in. There's your tent. Very simple. Now, this one is emergency, right? So you can do it really quick. You get in there, and it fit you. But when it's really cold, like in in GB, you gotta lower it, right? You want to lower as possible, right? Okay? So now, now I can get in, get out as it rain. But when I want to sleep at night, I want it to be. You know, warmer, right? Because it's cold. So when it's cold, it's the wind that's cold. So you take out the thing, bake it. If you know which side, which side of the, uh, the, 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 the rain go in, you take that like this. If the wind go that way, then you want to load it, right? And you have a fire on the other side. So that this, this will fit me easily, right? You put your sleeping mat, right? And you sleep.
Very simple. Doesn't look like it. Oh, you have to have a sleeping mat, right? And that's pretty much it. If you worry about ant, only in state campground, federal campground, where people have food, right? They tend to be ant. But when you backpacking, right, you won't find ant in the middle of the trail because there's no food around, right? But when you camp in a place where a lot of people camp, they tend to be ant. They just get, you get spray and spray on the ground. And then you put your sleeping mat on and you sleep on that. And when it's really cold, you can lower this one too, right? So the lower to the ground, the better it is. But that's it. And you can sleep like this.